So now there's trickier situations I've been involved in, and those are more contentious divorces. Sometimes there's a restraining order in place, which makes it uh, more difficult. And in that case, what I recommend doing is talking first with your family lawyer and establishing a dialogue so that as a realtor, I am not overstepping any rules that might be in place should there be any restraining orders. And I've had a couple of these type of uh, situations come up. Now, if you're in that situation, I think going in, you need to understand that this may be a longer process and a more expensive process for you. Uh, in these situations, I've had to have homeowners come in and remove household contents so that we can divide them and they need to go into storage because there is some discussion over uh, who owns them and how it, the division is going to happen. Uh, in some cases, there is uh, issues around the price that will be accepted for the home or perhaps some restrictions around showing times which draws the process out. Uh, in these situations, I highly recommend writing into the, your contract with the realtor the parameters that you both agree to when you're selling the home. So it almost gets written up into the listing agreement like a court order where you would say, I'm willing to accept prices between this and this. I'm willing to try and list at this price. And if we don't sell it within a month at this price, then we both agree to lower it to this price and so on and so on to make sure that all of those things are set out very clearly for both parties' information at the beginning of the sale. Again, this is really important that you get a realtor who's experienced in this type of situation to navigate it and to not break any uh, rules that you've set with the Family Law Act and get anybody in trouble. <laughs> Number one, first and foremost.